Is this the news that all of us Gators have been waiting for? This is exciting. Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. I'm not going to leave you in suspense. If you are a regular site tracker, you'll know that I have contacts that work in and around MGM and now that work in and around Amazon. You'll also know that Mark Fergus and Hawk Oastby, best name ever, have been developing a Bible, a content Bible of what a new series or franchise of Stargate would look like. You'll also know that several big companies, including Bad Robot, um, et cetera, et cetera, have been pitching to Amazon to do Stargate. We recently found out, thanks to Dial the Gate, that actually Mark Fergus was approached by Amazon. That during a meeting following the success of The Expanse, Amazon asked Mark Fergus, what would you like to do in the future? And he actually said, Stargate. So, uh, you can tell me how you managed to pull this one off? Well, I'd say it was a combination of things. My legal skills, my eloquence, the indisputable logic of my arguments, and the bribe I offered Kalor. Mm. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video with all of your other Gator friends. Also, you can go to side-trek.com for brilliant Stargate-related merch, just like this. You can even buy socks and anything else you want. All of the links are in the description. So I'm not going to leave you in suspense any longer. The big news is Mark Fergus looks like he might have won the race. His production company, Penguin and a Parker, might actually be the company that is going to produce new Stargate. And again, if you are a regular side tracker, you'll know the kind of people I speak to and that they have been extremely reliable in the past. We get paid for this, right? Welcome back. It looks like they have begun the negotiations for that. And actually, initial contracts have been written up. Now, this is still pretty much early days and it still could go massively sideways. But at the moment, it's looking really, really promising. This is the closest we've ever gotten to getting Stargate back. So let me very quickly tell you what this basically means. Now, Several months ago, Amazon start putting out a request for any company that would like to pitch for a new Stargate series. It was around this time that Mark Fergus was, during another meeting, asked what he would like to do. And he, as I say, said, I'd love to do Stargate. Now, I know Bad Robot and several other production companies, including the production company that does The Boys, have pitched for Stargate and what, they, what their idea would be for the new franchise. Now, Mark Fergus looks like they had the best pitch. From what I'm being told, more than one company was then asked to go a little bit further and produce sort of some initial artwork and things of what they think the project would look like, even suggest what sort of actors they would like to appear in it, and even maybe produce very early versions of a script. All of this was then reviewed, looked at, and a decision was made. And it looks like that decision was to go with Mark Fergus's Penguin in a Parker. So to clarify, they've had the pitch meetings. They would have whittled it down, potentially. They've had initial artworks and some initial scripts done. And the winner was Penguin in a Parker, Mark Fergus's company. Okay, show us what you've got. Stargate. Next. Creature Fox. Next. Atlantis. Thank you. Next. Now, again, if you don't know much about Mark Fergus and Penguin and Parker, these were the guys that did much of the work for The Expanse. Mark Fergus, with his partner, Hawk Osby, that do loads and loads of projects together, did much of the development work for The Expanse. So if you enjoyed The Expanse, they're really the guys you need to thank. They took the original material and developed it into a TV series that, to me, was one of my favourite and most realistic sci-fi shows that's been on the TV for a very long time. These guys are people that I actually really trust to go with this Stargate project. Now, 
I am gutted still that Brad Wright hasn't got this role and that they didn't go with the script that Brad Wright wrote, or at least given Brad Wright an opportunity to write another one. But if Brad Wright isn't going to do it, and I had to choose who would, I would go with Mark Fergus and Hawk Oastby. If these guys are involved together or separately, I think they could actually produce something really, really brilliant. Also remember that they actually wrote a lot of the scripts for The Expanse. So if you like the tone, you like the stories, you liked the dialogue in the series, you're going to love what they do with Stargate. So just really, really quickly to recap, the, we've got the news we wanted. This is the big one. All we're really waiting for now is the official announcement, the rubber seal. And I'm still being told that that is looking like January. So they're really pushing forwards to get this announced by the January 15th date when Epix becomes MGM+. Plus. They will use it as a way to really get a load of clicks and a load of interest because there is a massive online community that are biting at the bit for Stargate to return. <sighs> If, we, if we've been building up towards this for a long time, we've been hearing more and more rumours, more and more stories. There's more and more articles being released online and things. And, and actually, MGM executives and Amazon executives have been dropping the Stargate name every chance they get. So I'm not surprised this has happened, but I'm very excited. And, you know, at times I've even thought this wasn't going to get to this point. Even at times I've thought it's not going to happen. But really, unless something disastrously goes wrong now, we will be getting Stargate very, very soon. And let me just say, I'm really sorry I can't say more about where I got this information from. Again, this source has told me something in strict confidence. If I did give you more details, his job would be at risk. But what I can tell you is that I am 100% confident that the information he's given me is accurate. And this is the chap as well that gave me the information about Mark Ferguson in the first place, that gave me the information about Brad Wright and that how Amazon didn't really like his script and really has given me the best information in and around Stargate. So I can put hand on my heart, promise you that this is really good intel. Let's just hope that negotiations go smoothly and we get something on our screens as quickly as possible. But what will we get on our screens is the next big question. But I'll wait that for another video. So get in the comments, guys, to tell me exactly what you think about this news. How excited are you? How nervous are you that it could go all horribly wrong? If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It really helps us out. And if you enjoy the content and you want to become a fully fledged side trekker, please consider hitting the join button. As always, please stay safe. It's coming home. See you next time.